Hello and welcome to a new series here on the channel for 50 States of Food. This is a collaborative effort with Heather from the Pixel Gamer Girl channel where we're going to be going through and cooking one dish from each state in the Union. Today I'm going to be starting with the Garden State of New Jersey which was originally named for the Isle of Jersey in the English Channel and became part of the original 13 colonies in December of 1787. While sadly New Jersey does not have an official state dish, I did do a little digging on the internet and came up with their unofficial state dish, which is what we're going to be making today. Made famous by the Belmont Tavern in Blueville, New Jersey, today we're making a copycat version of Stretch's Chicken Savoy. The ingredients we're going to need are one whole chicken that I've cut up into roughly eight or nine pieces. I have a cup of red wine vinegar, a half of a cup of Romano cheese, four teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and a half of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. In here I've got one teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then I've got four garlic cloves that I've roughly chopped up, and then eight tablespoons of olive oil that I've divided up as I need them for each part of the dish. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is set our chicken over to the side, and I'm gonna bring in my mini food processor where we are going to start by making our herb paste for the top of our chicken. I'm going to start by adding in my garlic cloves, the Italian seasoning and the crushed red pepper flakes, and our half a cup of cheese. And then I'm going to use six tablespoons of our eight tablespoons of olive oil. Now all I need to do is pulse this and turn it into a smooth paste. Now that I've got the herb paste all blended up, I've gone ahead and transferred it into a small bowl. And that's just going to make it easier for me to spoon it over the chicken here in a little bit. The first thing I want to do before we start browning our chicken is to get it patted dry and seasoned up with some salt and pepper. The simplest way to do that is just to blot it off with some paper towels. And I'm going to go ahead and stir my salt and pepper together here. And I want to liberally sprinkle that all over these so that we get these well seasoned. In a cast iron skill, I've gone ahead and heated up my two tablespoons of olive oil. And now we're going to go ahead and start browning our chicken pieces. I'm going to be putting these in skin side down to start with. And we're going to cook these on this side for about four minutes or until that skin starts to brown up. Once this chicken has been browning for four minutes on one side, go ahead and flip it over and let it cook for an additional four minutes on the other side. Once you have all of your chicken pieces browned up on both sides, go ahead and drain all of the remaining fat out of the bottom of your pan. And then now we're going to start spooning our herb paste over the top. If it's too thin and starts running off, you want to add a little bit more of the cheese to it. And if it's way too thick, then add just a tiny bit more olive oil. But I think right now this looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these coated with our herb paste. Alright guys, there we go. That is the last one all coated up. Now this is going to get transferred into a 450 degree oven for roughly 20 to 25 minutes or until the internal temperature of one of the breast pieces reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Once your chicken is out of the oven, you want to go ahead and remove it from the pan and transfer it onto a serving platter. Once you get the chicken out of the pan, go ahead and cover it with aluminum foil to help keep it warm. Now that all the chicken's out of the pan, I want to go ahead and remove all the fat that's in here. But I want to be sure to keep all the little brown bits that are still in there. That's just going to help form the basis of our sauce. In my skillet on a medium high heat, I've gone ahead and added in my one cup of red wine vinegar. And now all I'm doing is scraping up the little brown bits that got left behind from the chicken. And I'm going to cook this until it's reduced down to about half of what I started with. Our copycat version of Stretch's Chicken Savoy is done. And the only thing I did with the sauce was just poured it around the outside of the platter 
just to let it kind of fall down in the bottom so the chicken could start absorbing it. I didn't want to pour it over the top and ruin our nice crispy skin. And I am definitely ready to give this one a try. I'm going to go for this nice leg piece that's been sitting in that vinegary sauce for a few minutes. It smells absolutely incredible and I am very, very excited to get in here and try this out. Oh, that skin is so crispy, guys. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my goodness, this chicken is absolutely incredible. I do want to get a little bit of that sauce because it tastes so good. I want to get that up on top of our piece of chicken here and really get in there and taste a good bite with it. As you can see, I have thoroughly enjoyed this piece of chicken. I love all of the flavors going on in here. You get a nice subtle back heat from those crushed red pepper flakes and the herbaceous -y cheesiness of the herb paste goes really, really well with this red wine vinegar sauce. Overall, I can see why New Jerseyans have voted this their unofficial state dish. But that is going to be it for me for the day. If you have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. Be sure to go and check out Heather from the Pixel Gamer Girls channel. I will leave a link down in the description to it. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.